Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to discuss some more tricks and tips about the scatter plots, right? So basically in the last video what I have told you, I have told you about the library that is C1 library and from that what we have seen, we have seen basically that how we can just plot some scatter plots using that library, right? So these are the things which we have discussed in the last video. So for today we are just going to see some more features of the scatter plot and after that what we are going to see, after that we are going to see one more plot and that plot is known as REG plot, okay? So just we are going to deal with both of these things today, okay? So let's start writing. So firstly, I would write SNS. So basically, what is this SNS? This is the short form for writing my C1, right? So basically, in the above side, okay, just let me show you that thing. Here, what I have written, I have written C1 as SNS, right? So basically, this means that here I am just using my C1 library and I'm just giving it a short form that is SNS, okay? So I would just write that thing here. I would even write SNS dot. I would just try to make this scatter plot right so i would just try p l o p fine this is my sns dot scatter plot what does i have i would write x is equal to and here i would just give the column that is total underscore bill okay so basically total underscore bill is my column which i have just given here right now what else i have i have y is equal to okay now it was another column just let's go above and verify the things so these were the columns which i uh, which i was having and yeah after doing some operations what we have done we have just made one more column and that column was tip fraction right so i was having total bill tip gender smoker date time size and tip fraction fine so these were the columns which i was having now here i have just uh, given the name for my x column as total bill and for my y i have given here the value as tip now what else i need to do here is that i would just write data is equal to right so if you are just in my previous video for the same thing so you have just got an idea that basically how we make this scatter plot right so here just i'm telling you that thing only now here i would just add that hue okay hue means that basically it, it should just gives us a different colors okay just let me show you that same thing okay fine i'll just run this thing okay now just have a look that here whatever the circles like small dots i have they are in different colors so basically i was having the smoker as two conditions yes or no so basically this is a tip status right so there it was like something that do you need a smoker or right no okay so they was having two conditions yes or no. that is why my graph which i had just made here that turned blue and yellow that the dots which are present they are in two colors that are yellow and blue sorry that you can say just orange okay orange or blue right so i hope you got the idea about this scatter plot that is sns dot scatter plot and here hue is equal to smoker now let's see if i just want to change this hue okay i just don't want to write this i would just take it to days okay so i would write sns dot scatter plot and in the bracket i would write x is equal to total bill total underscore bill right now what else i would write i would write y is equal to here i would write fine what else i would write i would write data is equal to fine i would just even write hue is equal to and here i would just put the fine so basically this is the way that basically you can even uh, add this another thing and here what i have now okay just let me stay here only yeah so what is this is hue i have just put the date so da the days which are present in my data are thursday friday saturday and sunday so according according to that only the colors of my scatter plot change and yeah you can just have a little bit of look also that basically the highest tip that was given that was given on sending highest bill and even a highest tip right so on uh, so, sorry that is saturday green is saturday fine so this is the main idea about the using the scatter plot now i even have some more parameters in the scatter plot so what i would do i would write sns dot i would write scatter plot and inside this i would just give x is equal to let's say i'm, I'm just going to work all of the things above my total bill only right okay I need to just uh, give these brackets here. I will just write T and I will just close this bracket also. Fine. What X, uh, like I have given the value for X. Now I will just do the same thing for Y. I will just write, okay. Now what else I have? I will write data is equal to T. Fine. And next what I would write, I would just write hue, okay. And H-U-E. And hue is equal to, what else I would write? Um, let's say I would just give the hue as size. Now size, okay. Now let's quickly run that thing. 
and yeah like it's taking a little bit time for the okay fine here i got so basically size is the size just means that the what is the family size right one two three uh, one member two member three member four five or six members right so this is the respective of the size so basically here we can just have an idea of the total bill that basically what is the total bill of the family size fine so here the colors denote the family size on the y-axis we have tip and on the x-axis we have total bill so from this we can just come to a conclusion that okay this much of family members are costing this much and they are just giving this much of tip fine so this is the whole idea about this now even we have one more parameter that is style so for that just let me write that scatter plot once more i would write s in the store scatter plot and i would write x is equal to total bill fine? total angular score bill now what i would do i would write y is equal to and here i would write fine now what i would do i would write data is equal to what else i would do i would just write u is equal to let's say i would just put that size only now here my next parameter comes and that parameter is a style okay i would write a style and here i would just write okay i would just write okay gender fine so here i would just quickly run this program and after running it to just let's see that what's the output we are getting so here what i have done here this this color dot okay this is denoting the males and this cross that is present here this is denoting the female so here we can just have an idea about that how many males and how many females come to just this, uh, this hotel and what is the like total bill what is the total tip and what is the size of the family and all that things we can just have a guess from this side okay we have this parameter that is style fine now what x and what next i have next i have this written and uh, now i just want to add one more parameter now i want this thing okay Let, let's have one more thing here i would just write um okay. i would write it's in a spot a scatter plot okay since so our scatter plot what i would write x is equal to total underscore bill okay this is my total underscore bill. then what i would write i would write y is equal to what i would write data is equal to t fine now what else i would write i would write u is equal to d uh let's say we just add u is equal to size okay size what else i was having i was having style is equal to okay so i just put one extra this side and yeah okay the so style is equal to this and what next i have next i have here one more parameter and that parameter is size okay the size is equal to and i even want to just put that size only for my this thing and i will just run the program now see what output did i get here so fine now you can just have a look that uh this, this uh, like whatever the uh, you can see the circles are there they are little big small and something like that right so this is the basically whole idea about putting these parameters now what else i have i have this box present here this side right now if we just want that this box should, should be present at this corner because like it is coming in between the uh you can say data right in between the plot it is coming so what i would write i would just firstly write the code for the scatter plot and next i would add some, some more parameters so just let me write it in this dot scatter plot in bracket i would write x is equal to total underscore bill right i would write y is equal to then i would put the tip now what i would do i would write data is data is equal to t fine what i would next write i would write u is equal to size fine now uh yeah u was size now what in what next i would write i would write style is equal to this and next what i would write i would write size yeah size is equal to size and here i would just do enter and here i would i would just use my plotly library matplotlib.plotly which we have just pronunciated as plt right i would just go up in our little one just show you that thing so i would write plt dot this legend is one of the functions which is like here you can just get a look that basically why we are using it so i would just write here b box underscore so, okay b box underscore two and underscore anchor so basically this is used for shifting of the thing which i just told you and here i would just put uh, this and here i would just write 1.05 comma 1 okay and i would just put the 
semicolon this side. Now, as soon as I will run my program, now see, now have a look at the, the like this box which I was just saying. Now, this box has come to out of my scatter plot. Okay, so this is the main idea about using this plt dot legend b box to anchor. This is basically used for changing the. You can see it was just present this side. So here I just give some dimensions and it had just brought this box to this side. Fine. Now let me go above once more. Yeah, so this was the library which I was talking about that is import matplotlib.py plot as plt. Fine, so this was the library which I was talking with you that I have uh, like downside when I just use that legend here. Or just let me go to that side only. Yeah, here we are. I have just used this legend. So I have used it with the plotly library that is plt. I just showed you that I have given the short form from matplotlib.py plot, right? This is done. Now I was just talking that we will just be dealing with one more plot that is reg plot, right? So now just let's quickly plot that also. So I would write it's in this dot reg plot. So it is reg plot, okay? Reg plot, reg plot. Now what I would do, I would just put this, and uh, let's say I would just add some columns. So let's say here I would be taking the same one which we were dealing before, and that is total bin. Fine, I would just put a comma. I would write y is equal to Fine, now what I would do, I would write data is equal to t. Fine, so these are the things which are just done here, and this is over. And now when I would just put this column, and now when I would just run that, the semicolon, okay? Semicolon, uh, yeah. So this is my, so this is my plot which I just got here, that is reg plot. So basically this reg plot is the one which uh, just shows us a line also, right? So that I just have a line also this side, fine? So it just basically give, gives us the perfect line for a plot which you, which we have just plotted fine so this is done now if you just want to change my values i would write s in this dot reg plot and here i would write x is equal to total underscore bill fine and now what i would do i would write y is equal to and here i would just give one more that is tip fraction okay tip fraction now what i would do i would write data is equal to t. what else i would write I would just run. So here I have just changed the things, and now you can just have a proper look that basically my graph has also changed. So when I was just doing this thing, when I was writing y is equal to tip, so my line was like upside, right? It was just going upside. Now when I'm just writing this strip fraction, so basically it is going this down. Fine. I hope you just got the idea about this reg plot. And basically reg plot has one more parameter that is s in s dot reg plot and basically here what we have x is equal to total underscore bill right now what else i have i have y is equal to tip fraction okay tip underscore fraction my data is equal to t and i have here one part that is marker right so marker is basically used for changing the dots like the circles to the another sign so let's say here i just put the okay so like it is showing me some error that basically marker is equal to okay i just missed one equal to sign and now let's quickly run this once more basically now here you can just see that basically before what i was getting i was getting these circles right now what i am getting i am getting these plus signs okay so i hope you just got the point about the stiff fraction like total bill that basically how we plot this scatter plot and these reg plots so Today here we, have, we have completed the understanding that basically how we make scatter plots, all the parameters of the scatter plot we have discussed, and basically we have discussed about REG plots. Now we'll move further uh, towards the steps data only in the next video. So I hope you just got the whole video. So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and bye bye.